Okay. All right, here we go. Getting ready to start our Art Explorer lesson. Who wants to give me some of those Art Explorer rules? Uh, I saw Iris first. Iris, what's one? Um, try your best and forget the rest. Try your best and forget the rest. Is that my favorite? It's an important one by sure. It's definitely really important. And Karina, you're the second one I saw. There's no right or wrong way to be an artist. Yeah, that, I tell that to everyone. I, I tell that to kids and, and adults and my friends because there's no right or wrong way. So, you know, you're just going to create things that look right for you. All right, what else we got? Anyone else want to raise their hand? I'm looking for either Annabella or Sammy or Allison. What's another Art Explorer rule? Try your best, forget the rest. No right or wrong way to be an artist. Oh, Annabella's hands got way high. Have fun. Yes, we are definitely going to have some fun today. This might be my best lesson, my favorite, most favorite lesson. And the last one is notice and observe. Today, we're going to be doing some very fine details and some blending. So you're really going to have to notice some subtle differences in the coloring and the shape of the items that we create. All righty. Is everybody ready? Let's on the count of three, we're going to let you going to tell me have fun. So I know your ears are on. We're ready to rock and roll. One, two, three. Have fun. Have fun. Oh, that fun. Was lame. Let's have fun. I want to hear some enthusiasm about starting to have some fun. One, two, three. Have fun. Have fun. Uh, Allison, where were you? Dad. All right, I need my Allison's mic up. Her mic is too soft. Is your mom still there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was better. I heard your volume on that one. Super duper. Okay, you know how to do this. You guys are like experts now. Let me go get the slides. And we're going to pull it up. Get it all organized. Make sure I can see you. Going with this format. Uh, beautiful. One, two, three. Oh, that's no, don't turn on. Turn on. Do or don't? Don't. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Let's see. There we are. Now we got everybody. Okay. So today, there we go. We're gonna. We're gonna Sammy, let's put. Let's keep that. That uh, juice pack it down because it's really crackly, okay? Okay. Thanks a lot. All right, so today we're talking about seashells. I love seashells and drawing them so much and painting them. I think I could do an entire 10 week lesson on nothing but seashells. That's how much I love them. And I hope you're going to love them too. So I want to just talk about seashells in general. You know, it's always good as an artist if you break down anything you're going to draw into basic shapes. So if you look at this composition with a whole bunch of different kinds of seashells, what kind of shapes do you notice? Iris. Circles, triangles, and like half circles for like the common shell. Yeah, I like it. So you said circles. This would be more like a circle, right? And you said half, half circles. And what else did you say? Triangles. And triangles, right? These, these cone-shaped ones are definitely triangles, right? Here's a portion of the circle. Oftentimes I call that like a rainbow shape or upside down smiley shape. Here's another triangle. You're absolutely right. And then even in here, we got some parallel lines. They're not quite a triangle, but you can see it's wider up here than it is down here. Awesome, let's look at these. What other shapes do you see in these? Who else? Somebody else. Somebody else. Who's going to volunteer? Uh, I'm, I'm going to call on somebody else. Annabella, go ahead. Uh, like, one's a fan shape, one's a star, some are circles. Nice. And like cone shapes, kind of. You got it, right? So we're just, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to be breaking down. That almost looks like, I don't know, what does that look? A teardrop or a raindrop, right? 
we're going to look for some basic shapes and pull them apart. I love this one. Isn't this amazing? It almost looks like a photograph, but it is a colored pencil drawing, which is what we're going to do today. And notice and observe just some of the subtle shading. So who can tell me what colors do you notice? It's, this is called a whelk. Some people call it a conch. They're actually different shells, depending upon what part of the world you're from. What kind of colors do you notice in this one shell? Because there are quite a few, quite a few colors. Who wants to give it a stab? Uh, go ahead, Iris. You're the one whose hand I see. So, on the inside, it's mostly like red, orange, tiny little bit of yellow at the edge. Oh, great observation, and yeah. On the outside, it's mostly like purples, some yellow and a little red and a little blue. So mainly just the entire rainbow. <laughs> and of course we can't forget, it is a white seashell. Have you all seen the seashell before? Right, so it is a white seashell. And as it ages, it gets some brown in there as well. So, so but you know, if you just picked up that shell, you, the first thing, what color would be the first color you would say if you just picked up that shell? Pink. Pink maybe? I'm yeah. thinking white. I'm thinking white would be the first thing you would notice when you pick it up. Same with this one. But look at how, how much, like there's a lot of tan in here and black. So really, really subtle, really different subtle. And that's what we're gonna focus on today. As I said, they come in all shapes and sizes. I love this one. This one is a watercolor painting. And sometimes there's a composition, like this, this one is kind of put in its setting, wouldn't you say, that this looks like a beach? Yep. Karina, can you not have on your screen share uh, saver, please? Your uh, background, there we go. We wanna see your whole face. Thank you so much. And Allison, you, I, I can, I, are you in there? I see your, oh, there you are. <laughs> there you are, great. So some are in their setting. Some are just arranged to fill in spaces. Sometimes you see seashells kind of in a grid, you know, like when, it's almost like a tic-tac-toe board, isn't it? Or this guy, you know, and you'll see some, some of the shells are combined with, with a fish. And there in, in real life, there are thousands and thousands of seashells from all over the world. Now, if, if I were to say to you, what is a seashell? What is the purpose of a seashell besides being beautiful? What would you say? Uh, Annabella. For like snails and stuff to protect themselves because exactly. they, they don't have an Exoskeleton means the outside skeleton, not the spines like human beings have, but the exoskeleton of living creatures. So each one of these shells would have an animal that lives inside. Karina, you want to say something? I just noticed that the middle one, I've seen that one. This, this spiky one before? Yeah. Yeah, gorgeous. This is a little bit more complicated to draw, so we're not gonna do one of those on, on, uh, at this time. So Allison, there's so many here. I think, what is there? One, two, three, four, five, 25 seashells. Which one of these seashells do you like the best? Allison, and why? I like the spiky one because it looks um like a porcupine because of the spikes yeah that's cool that's cool very exotic right you don't see these here in the pacific ocean you'd find these more in the caribbean in warm waters anybody else want to volunteer the ones they like sammy um i like the one um past the spiky one next to it it looks like um a centipede and also i have these oh did you bring some oh good oh 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 you oh the, and, wow oh and and annabella what do you have in your hand is that a seashell too yeah it's, a, it's a bigger oh, than this oh that's awesome you guys can use them as references as we do some drawing so sammy which one did you say you liked you like the ones on both sides these uh no i like the one below the um Below the, the spiky one onto the left, I like the one below it. This one? Yeah. 
Ah, yeah. They call those ones conical because they're like a cone, like a triangle, like Iris had pointed out earlier. I, every time I look at this, you might think I'm crazy, but I think, I think soft serve ice cream. Looks like an ice cream cone upside down with like the, oh, it comes out of the, out of the dispenser. That's what I think of when I see that guy. Let's look at a couple more. These are all line drawings, all done with pencil first and then with pen and ink and then some subtle shading. Ooh. Even though these oh. look super realistic, don't they almost look like photographs to you? Yeah. Yeah, but they're all hand drawn. And the more you practice, the more you get into some of these fine details. I think they're gorgeous. That's crazy. Yeah, crazy beautiful. And here's some others. Anyone have a favorite, favorite on this page? Any favorites? Well, oh, Iris. Kind of like that, um, the first one on the left is kind of just a simple and subtle one. Mm -hmm. Of course, I do like the swirly and spiky one, of course, but also can I show you um, this? My cousin gave it to me. He got it from his like aunt and uncle or something. I don't know. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Uh, we could definitely draw something like that. That's gorgeous. So depending upon how much you like drawing seashells, we might have an opportunity to draw them on another day too. Yeah, I love it. Way to go. Thanks for sharing everybody. And of course, you know, you could have seashells in with some of the other sea life that we've explored. So, so far we've done that gorgeous turtle at the beginning of our session and the fish, right? Because they're all sea animals. Karina, what would you like to share? Um, can I grab something that's actually um, part of a real beach? Like, give me a little bit more information when you, when you, what are you suggesting? It's like a, um, some shells. Oh, you have some personal shells? How about this, when, when, if you're ahead of somebody else, you can go run and get it and then bring it back while some people are finishing up, okay? That sound good? Yeah, because I'm, I'm, as I said, I love seashells. I could talk about it forever. So my goal today, we're just gonna see how the time goes, is we're gonna work on something that kind of looks like this. And, and this is actually the project here. My goal at first is to work on three, the scallop, the starfish, and this one's called a moon shell. We're gonna work on these three shells first. We're gonna draw them, then we're gonna shade them, and then we're just gonna see how much time we have left. If we have enough time, we can work on either one of these guys here, the conical one, the one that's like a cone, and this beautiful whelk down here. We're just gonna see how the time goes, okay? Ah, so you got, you got your moon shell, so you'll be able to draw that, Annabella. And I know Sammy had a moon shell too, so that'll work out awesome. Before we begin, we're gonna start with the scallop. <coughs> Excuse me. We're gonna start with the scallop. I wanna have a conversation about scallops. First, and how they're different from clams. So here's a scallop. If you look at this scallop, what shape does it remind you of? A fan? Ah, I like it. A fan, right? So it has a point in the middle. And maybe you're going to say this. Here's your triangle on the bottom. And that rainbow shape or half circle shape on top. A fan. And even more so a fan because the scallop has those ripples in it, right? The back and forth, the back and forth as the fan would fold. And then a scallop has these also these little like triangles off the sides. From the, from the center point. And they come in all shapes and sizes. Again, this is a line drawing. Aren't they stunning? I would like to see some of these in nature. It looks like a black and white photo. It, it looks like a photo, huh? This is somebody drew all this. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful. And um, they, they do come in all different colors as well. So. Most people think that scallop shells are kind of your basic color, you know, kind of this mostly whitish color. And then sometimes you, oh, there you go. Sammy's got a scallop. Nice. And then you kind of have to exaggerate some of the colors you might put in. The other thing to notice is scallops often have like these rainbow stripes. 
These are called growth rings, just like trees have growth rings, shells have growth rings. And these, so this would have a different weather condition. So that's why this band is dark and this one is light because they were growing in, di in different circumstances. All right. Um, now I want to, so you don't mistake a clam for a scallop because a lot of people do. Here we go. What are the differences between a clam and a scallop? What do you think? Allison, I haven't heard from you in a little bit. What's the difference between a clam and a scallop? A scallop doesn't have two pieces, but a clam has two pieces. I like your guess, but actually both have a top and a bottom. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you this one too. So this. So Allison, just so you know, this one here is a scallop, and can you see it has a top with a hinge and a bottom? So I didn't show you the top and the bottom, so I could I could understand why you would think this. Look at this guy. They actually, I actually love this. This is a top. This is a top and a bottom that turns into a heart shape. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. Um, and there's these are all scallops. So I'm going to go back again. What do you notice? Is the difference between a scallop? Oh, we lost Karina. Karina, hopefully you're you're there. She's completely gone. Oh, she's back. There she is. Uh, okay, uh, Annabella, what's the difference between a, a scallop and a clam? A scallop has bumps and like ripples, and the clam has is just flat. Yeah, it's more smooth. So the edge, mm -hmm. the edge of a clam is smooth. The edge of a scallop has these little mini ripples. Oops, what happened there? We completely changed the format. Everybody still with me? Yeah. Uh, that was weird, just <coughs> on me automatically. Iris, what else would you like to say? I would like to add on to Annabella. Um, a clam doesn't have like those triangles at the bottom, and um, it's a it's a little less fan shaped, it's a little more oval, circle ish. Yeah. Uh, is am I missing somebody? I just thought I heard somebody disappear. Come on. Who's not here? Nope, don't need that. That's fine. That can go. Oh, there we go. Waiting. Somehow Sammy disappeared. We'll get her back. There. And then Karina, can you leave your camera on so I know you're with us the whole time, please? Karina, can you hear me? Sorry, I was just seeing if Sammy was still on. Yeah, okay. I would like your camera on the whole time, okay? That way I don't have to keep checking that you're with us. And Sammy, are you with us now too? Ah, what is going on? Admit. Oh. Well, she's gonna have to sign back on in a second. There. She's back on. Sammy, you with us? She got on. She's here. There she is. We lost you for a minute. Okay. All right, stay with us. So, um, yes, so scallops have these, these little, they actually call them scallops, these little rounded edges, and clams have smooth lines on the outside. And Annabella, you want to say something else? One's flat and bumpy, and one's smooth and curvy. Nice. Nice. So you're absolutely right. So these guys here, are all the smooth clams, but can you see here? Here is your scallop. These are scallops. The other big difference are these little triangle shapes. Some of them are look exactly the same. This scallop has one, two that look very different, but that's the other difference. The scallops will always have these little triangle shapes on the sides. And I wanted to share this one with you. It shows these are all line drawings, which is what we're gonna do. It's got those little bumps, little ridges. 
And notice how one side is darker because the light is shining from this side. So this side is brighter and this side is darker because it's, it's communicating to us that it's three dimensional, that it has a, a real curve to it. Karina, you wanted to say something? Um, when I was in San Francisco, I saw those. Oh, cool. When I was at the San Francisco beach, I saw them. Oh, nice. No, yeah, we got them all over. We got, it. we got them here. And then I wanted to share this because this is a real photograph and this is a painting. So you can see how the artist really was noticing and observing how the edges of the shell were darker, so they added in a darker color. It is darker than real life, because sometimes when you're drawing and painting, you kind of have to exaggerate what you see, because we're talking about real subtle differences here. So sometimes it's hard to notice them all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna pause, we're gonna draw the scallop, then I'm gonna come back and screen share again. So let's just see how this works out. I need to get my, and I'm gonna try the phone again. We may or may not have any success. You know how it's been going, but I like to try, try again. So we're gonna see, let's see if it's gonna to work today. All right, so I am going to, don't need that. Share. New share. New share. iPhone. Oh, okay. That looks good. Thank you. Let's see if we're going to have success today. And don't need this. Don't need iTunes. All right, let's see. Let's see how we do. Don't need that. Now, can everyone see? I got to turn my camera facing down. Aha! Sam left the meeting. Who left the meeting? Sam. Sam, you did it here. here. Okay. I'm right here. Ah. Good. Let us know when you're when you're here. We don't want people to be missing and we don't even know it. Okay, so this is our goal is to draw the top three items. And we're gonna start with the scallop. So everybody's got it, just your regular pencil. We don't need the color pencils yet. Just a regular pencil. And some of the lines I'm gonna do darker so you can see them. So we're making like a wide, I like the fan description because that really says it, but it's a soft V, a wide V. And let me just get the camera in the right place so you can see the whole thing. There you go. So you can get a sense for where it's located on the page. Go ahead and do that. Brittany, you have a question? We can't see what we're doing, um, what you're doing. You can't see the camera? No. no. Yeah, you're just sharing the shells still. So. Yeah. Wait, wait, can you see my hand moving? No. That's just you're kidding. That's hysterical. Because I can see it really good. Hold on, let's see. What does this say? Screen. Pause. Just sharing the shells. Hold on. There we go. Oh, now you can see it? Yes. yes. Oh, I'm so glad you said something. Okay, so, so you can see the drawing. So here we go. You've got the wide fan with that curved V shape on the bottom. And you can see how it's all, where it's placed on the page. So it's kind of in the middle and it's going out like that. So give it a try. Everybody go ahead and do that. Yep, looking good, Iris. Allison, did you do that? Looks like Allison's having a problem. Is that true?
Uh, Karina, bring yours a little bit closer. Good. If you want it, Karina, you can make yours even wider. You can make it even go, go out even further. And Sammy, how's yours looking? Annabella, looking good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can make yours even longer, Allison. And the other thing I notice is, Allison, look, look right here for a sec. Your V can be a little rounder on the bottom. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you, I want you to do very light because eventually we're going to erase it. And it's just watching my hand, watch my hand. You're making an arc that connects both points. But this line is going to be light because it's just a guide. We're going to erase it in a little bit because the next step is to make little mini rainbows or scallops on top of it. So the first line is your guide. The second line is little mini scallops on top. Once you have your mini scallops, you don't need your guide anymore. So you can go and erase the guide. The guide is just to help you create that arc on the top of the scallop scallop shell. And then once you have the scallop bumps like this. Who wanted to show me? Ah uh, that might work Karina. I think they're a little tiny. Look at how many I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You might have more, you might have less. You might have five. Then on the bottom, you're going to have an arc. Another little rainbow there. Yep, looking good, Iris. And then you're going to connect. So everybody lift your eye for a sec. You're going to connect every point, every place where your, your little mini rainbows up here ended, you're going to connect that point down here. So start somewhere in the middle. Everywhere that your little arcs came down, you're going to draw a straight line. And they're all kind of, kind of, kind of meeting in the middle. Is my camera frozen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to un undo me because I don't know how to fix that. So you get the right idea. That's all we're going to do on the camera share today. So I got to go back, get rid of the camera. I have no idea why that happens. Maybe Allison's mom can help me with that sometime. <laughs> Lindsay, it happens every time, Lindsay. Uh, no, we don't have to worry about it now. Oh, look at Iris. Go ahead and show us yours. It looks great. Everybody looking at Iris's? Yeah. I, I, mine. There it is close. Here it is on the full page. And then what was, the, what was that one thing I said about that distinguishes a scallop from a clam again. Besides the smooth edge up here, there was one other item that just, that it makes the scallop different. Oh, Iris, the light went on. Yes, Iris. The triangle at the end. Exactly. So let's put those in. You can have that be a straight line, or you can have it a little bit more curvy. Like that. Nice. Oh, Allie looks good. You want to make this a little wider? And then, did you did, did go ahead and put these little triangles on the sides? Hi, Maddie. I see Maddie with her turtle in the camera too. Hi. Oh, say hi. All right, uh, Sammy, what's up? Hi. <laughs> hi. I I didn't see what we're supposed to do because the thing froze. Oh, okay. So 
So we just finished the step. We just finished the step. We just put in a little triangle on the side. Hi, little sea turtle. Yeah, when you get older, you can be drawing some sea life too. That'd be awesome. I'm going to say he said, can I talk to Linda for a minute? And how are you doing, Karina? I didn't see your mom. You were right there. Hi, Karina. Hi. Hi. I see her okay. mom. This one's curvy. Okay. Look at Shelly. That's why, that's why we do it in pencil. So if you don't like it the first time, you keep yeah. trying. This one needs to go to, to the middle. Like trying, this. trying. Baby turtle. Anyway, watch this. They're all no, no, this. Huh? You okay, there you Sammy? There you go. One more. Good. Okay. Maddie. Maddie, the okay. Make sure you're okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to erase this line, too. So that was just for a guy. Ah. Uh, okay, so Iris. I feel I I I think there is a line here, right? Right. But I couldn't hear you. What'd you say? I think you're missing this little line right here, so we get a distinct. That's what she said. Where's a triangle? Right. Yep. So we got, we got, it's a it's a rounded triangle on the side. The V. Just do a line here. And then round it. There you go. Nicely done. Uh, Annabelle, are you ready to share your set? Not yet. Okay. Uh, wow, that looks good, Allison. Hold it closer. Love yours. I definitely can tell that's a scallop and not a clam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, way to go. Nice. We won't need any scissors in this in this one, Bay. <laughs> yes. well, see how they see how. Hey, are you saying something? To the bottom of the shell, and yours are too thin, so connect it to the make it go down to the bottom. Thanks, Coach. Can I see them on the No, no, Maddie. Sammy, let me see yours. I haven't seen anything you got, Samantha. Hold on, I'm looking at Sammy's. Okay. Nice, beautiful. Okay, Karina? Yeah. And we're going to color it all in a color pencil. Go ahead, Karina. I noticed your guide, your guide pencil line that, that made that first arc. Go ahead and see if you can erase some of that. I didn't uh -huh. notice that. Yeah, that's helpful. Thank you. Thank you. How's everybody feeling about that? Pretty good? Thumbs up? Two thumbs up? Three, oh, double thumbs up from Allison. And I'm waiting for Annabella. Do you have a thumbs up yet? All right. We are ready to move on to the next item. Three. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Let me, let me go share. Oh, we got Maddie giving me a thumbs up. Thanks, Maddie. 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. Okay. Let's put that guy over there. All right. So that, that was our scallop. We're gonna do the. We're gonna do some line drawing first, and then we're gonna go and do some shading no, 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 no. a little bit. Maddie, get down. Okay, Maddie, you need to be done. No. No. Okay, guys, you ready? Here comes the next one. The next one are the moon shells because it's gonna go in front of starfish. So we're gonna put the things that are in the foreground in the front first, and the things that are in the background have to be after the, this. So here's our moon shell. Let's look at them, and then I want you to share what observations, what do you notice about these shapes? So here's number one, two, three, and four. So who would like to share what they notice about the shapes that, uh, that's common with all four of these examples. 
Let's see. Iris, go for it. <clears throat> well, they're often like little swirlies. I'm just going oh, to do it lightly on my paper so I can erase it. Oh, hold on, hold on. You know what? Well, we have, we have multiple people talking at the same time. I can't hear the one person. Oh, so Maddie, can I, okay, it's for muting. Thank you. Okay, so uh, Iris, can you can you just share again what you said? Because I'm not sure everybody caught it. What's the similar similarity in the shapes? So all of them are just like little swirls, and. Most of them are like light, uh, not light, um, smooth on the edge, just like, um, but like on that last one you shared, sometimes they have like little bumps and they're ah, like, spiky. right. So we're going to keep it simple. We do not need to draw these little bumps. That's, that's getting pretty fancy. It's just a different kind of shell. We're going to go with this smooth outside, but can you notice they're all pretty much the same? And, and I'll point it out in a minute. They are spirals that are wrapped around each other. So it starts in the middle with a small, everybody look up here, we're not drawing yet, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through the steps again. Just want you to observe, looking, looking. I can see if you're looking. We got a lot of people not looking. Thank you. So it starts small and it wraps around each itself. Getting so way wider here. You see that there's a lot more distance between these lines than these lines. So it wraps wide around the outside and super wide here, and then has a little soft rounded edge right there. Notice wherever that line is, what the shading's doing, that it's darker around the pencil line. Let me show you another one. This one's very famous. You may have seen this one before. This one is, is a painting done by Georgia O'Keeffe very famous southwestern uh painter I've, I've done this as an art project before just moon by itself the moon shell by itself i love this one because this is real look at these rainbow colors in here this is not like somebody went in and put colored pencil or paint on top of a, a seashell these are the actual colors inside the squirrels but it's perfect because you can see how tight how small those squirrels are in the middle and then they wrap out wider wider and wider so, um, we are going to minimize this and I'm trying to get myself bigger. Hello. There. Can you see me? You all can see me now? I'll stop the share. There we go. That's easier. Okay. So how are we going to start? How are we going to start this spiral? Who's got an idea? Some people already did it. I know. Karina, go for it. We're going to um, kind of make like a circle. Aha. Uh -huh. You got it. Small circle. I'll show you. Small circle. Look at the spacing. You gotta have it away from the scallop because we're gonna have to fit more of that shell in there. So almost in the middle point in between the edge of the paper and the scallop, you're gonna start with a small tight circle that's open on the bottom. Yep, I loved how Isabella is glancing, lifting her eye up. Yep, you got it. Sammy's there too. Sammy, you ready? She's probably got it already, huh? Nice, good, Karina. Allison, you got that first little step? Almost. Almost. Almost? Okay. Karina, your hands raised? What's up? Oh, I wasn't raising my hands. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. Looking good. Looking good. And then it's just the line is going to wrap around closer as you begin and wider as you swirl out. So here's Here's the medium one. So you're gonna, it's close at the beginning and then you're gonna wrap it around and you want it to land. I don't know if you can see my pencil line. This is where the shell's gonna hit the sand. So you want it to be pretty close to the bottom of the scallop. I don't know if I made that clear. I didn't say that very well. Just notice how 
on the horizon line need to be about the same place because you don't want the moon shell floating. We're actually going to put it on some sand. We're going to make a sand line eventually. Yeah, Iris is shaking her head so she understands what I mean. Cool. Sammy, oh, Sammy, you got to erase a little bit. Allison, I think, Allison, yours might be a little high. No. And you can make it even bigger. Look at the space between the initial wrap around and now it, the space is getting bigger and bigger as it goes towards the outside. So go ahead and make that line from this small circle wider, coming close to the bottom of the scallop. Looking good, Iris. And I'll, I'll show you. Like this. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna just show you the outside so you know what I mean. There we go. Now I skipped a little. You can, um, can you please yours. help me? You can continue yours in pencil, but I'm doing Sharpie. So I skip right there because that's where my sand is going to land. What do you need help with? Drawing it. Allison, show me yours. I'll see if I can give you a tip. That's, I think it's going to work out just fine. So continue yours around. Go ahead and make it all the way to here. Look how wide it is. It's very, very wide where it, it's going to touch the sand. So keep continuing yours. Yours is just going to be on a little bit of a hill. No worries. Race, race what you have. Cool. Um, okay, uh, Iris, looking good, looking good. Karina, I'm taking a peek. Let me see. Now start. Okay, Karina, you can no. keep going. You don't. Here. If you can, so leave start right here in between the two shells. If, if okay. they're too then close, then don't worry about it. Bigger and bigger. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Okay. Does that make sense, Allison? Good, good. All right, looking good, Annabella. Everyone's doing great. that. I think you have one too many circles. If it has more spirals, oh, I see. Yeah. Um, go ahead, Allison, and continue your line all the way over till it, it lands on the bottom where the sand is going to be. Yours just has, it's, it's a more mature shell. It's got more spirals on it. It's older. We're going to make it work. But the line has to end on the bottom. And let me tell you why. Let me show you. Because this would be the opening where the animal is, right? And, it, and it's going to rest on the sand. And it's a, just a soft curve. Almost a straight line, a very um, flat curve. Yep. And then it has a, like a little ridge on it. Almost looks like the opening of a trumpet or the opening of a pipe. Does that make sense to everyone? Sammy, how are you doing? You're awful quiet today. Doing okay? What? Karina, looking good. There you go, Allison. Nice. Yeah, good. Good, good. Yep, looking good, looking good. Annabella, did I see yours yet? Cool. Okay. Oh, there you go. I think I know, Annabella, you're, you're drawing on a big piece of paper, right? We're using a small piece of paper, but I gave you some extras, so don't worry about it. Just means you're not going to be filling in the whole thing, okay? We're, we're just drawing on a, on a big one. I mean, on a small one, but don't worry about it. Uh, Karina, yes, what's up? Um, you need to go. Next yeah. week, what animal are we doing? Next week, what? Next week, what animal are we doing? I don't know yet. Depends on what we're doing today. Hold on to your thought. Any other questions about those two? Iris, yeah. 
Um, I just thought that mine two are a little close together since I don't want to do the uh, moon shell again. Should I just do my scallop again? You know, I think I did notice they were close and thank you for observing that. I think it's going to be fine. What you can do is you can just put your, your starfish up higher. Okay. Okay, so don't okay. worry about it. Sammy, how are you doing? I don't do it. Can I see what you have? You can put it in and we lost Allison. Oh, there she's back. Doing great, Sammy. Thank you. Karina, yes. Um, so my shell's kind of close to my moon thing, but can it, like, can I erase one part of the, um, what is it called? Of the scallop and make it kind of like it's behind it? You could if you want. Why don't you hold on? We're gonna, and then we can decide how we're gonna do the star, the starfish because yours being yours is close, just just like Iris's is close. So it, it just means the starfish can be higher. I think it's gonna be fine. I don't think you really need to move it. Yeah, I think it's gonna be fine. Allison, did you have your hand raised? Can I see yours again? Super. All right. Let's do some screen share. We're going to talk about the starfish. 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 Where are they? go? Oh, let's go back. Here we go. We got the moon shell. Starfish. There are so many different kinds of starfish that I didn't even want to confuse you with how many there are. We're just going to talk about the five point mm -hmm. starfish. The most common one is orange, especially here in California along the Pacific Ocean. So there's the first one. Let's look at them and then talk about these guys, okay? One. Two, isn't that outstanding? I love this one. I have no idea where in the world you could find that, but I think it's stunning. Three. What? Four. Oh, we got a couple more. Wait, and real one? Five. No, these are all paintings. And this is what we're going to try to draw. They look all the same. Like they look. Who said they that? Look, Who said that? Allison, why do they look the same to you? Because they all look like real starfish. They all look like they all look like pictures. They all look more like photographs, right? Well, let's see which ones are photos. This, these are photos. Yep, that's a photo. Look at this one. That's a photo. So cool. Isn't that amazing? Purple and orange with these little feelers. That's how they walk. That's how they actually move. This one's a photo. But the last right on here. The last two slides are not photos. These these are paintings. And this one is a color pencil drawing, which is what we're gonna try to do. Okay, so we did notice five points. What else do you want to share about what makes them similar? What else are you observing today? Sammy, I haven't heard anything from you. You're not doing much talking. So what do you notice about these? Samantha? Uh-oh. Are you frozen? Move. Her screen's black. Sammy's frozen. OK. She, she might, oh, there. She's back. What, what do you notice about these, Samantha? Um. They all only have five legs and they all look like stars. Yes, that's many. true. What else? Now we're looking for fine details because we're going to have to put some of these fine details on our starfish. Uh, Iris. They all have like little bumps and like most of them are like waving and stuff. Mm, good point. So you look at this, they like wrap around a rock, so they bendy because they have suction cups underneath. You talked about the bumps. And you notice in this one how the bumps are in a row. They're like in a line. They're coming, they're coming right down in rows. This one, they're not really in rows. They're more random, more scattered. 
but definitely that they're all super bumpy. Let's see what else we got. These are bumpy. These are 3D and bumpy. These, if you were to run your finger on there, can you see a bumpy? To me, that almost reminds me of the texture of a tongue. It's got the little bumps on the top. Karina, what would you like to say? Um, go, um, so they're normally not on sand, they're normally on rocks, like kind of sunbathing. Often they are on, on, on rocks. It depends upon where you find them. This one's on the bottom of the ocean floor, so it's in sand, but oftentimes they are suctioned to rocks. Good point, good point. Oops, who do we miss? I heard somebody disappear. Enough. Samantha. Samantha again, she's having a problem. Look at the bumps on this one. You can still see the five points, but lots and lots of bumps. That doesn't look like a starfish. It is. It is. It's actually the bottom. It's the bottom of the starfish. And this is what we're going to be drawing. So notice and observe. Turn on those detective eyes. Who can tell me what colors they see? There's loads of colors, more colors than you think, but you got to get the detective eyes on. Allison, what colors do you see? I see a little bit of pink, orange, red, and some white. Pink, orange, red, and some white, and there's one other color I noticed. What else do you think? Some yellow. Ah, well done, well done, yeah. Even though it is an orange starfish, the artist has to exaggerate the colors in order to make it look more three-dimensional. So you're right, there's yellow in here too, even though it's an orange starfish, and there's red in here, even though it's an orange starfish. Right, so I see some hands up. Karina, yes. I noticed that there's some red and black mixed with the red and some white. Yep. This is actually, and you may, I don't know what kind of color pencils you have. You may or may not have this. They call this a brick red. It's almost a brown color that's so darker than your regular red. And you can outline your starfish to get that beautiful color okay. in there. Yep. All right. Good. Uh, um, Iris, yes. What's up? Um, well, I kind of noticed that there's only really red where, like, if the sun was right here or the light, the source of light, Mm -hmm. so the mm -hmm. red's going to be in where it rounds, where the shadow is supposed to be. So that's maybe just a shadow. That's brilliant. Brilliant observation. Wow. Well said. You're right. And, and again, to make it look like it has some depth or some height, where it's shadowy, where the sun is less likely to go. Oops, I moved it. Let's move it down again. There we go. Where the sun is less likely to go is where the shadow is, and that's exactly where you're going to see the darkest color or the red. And where the sun shines the most is where it's the lightest, and that's the reason why you see the yellow. Awesome observation. I don't think I could have said it better myself. Well done. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to stop the share. What? There we go. Karina, yeah, you want to say something? Um. The star was kind of doing like jazz. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it was. <clears throat> okay. So, um, the first steps I'm going to have, the first lines we're going to make, make light because we are going to erase them. Okay. And the first, no, watch, watch my fingers. Right. Watch yeah. my fingers. The first lines we're going to make are kind of like a peace sign. Upside down V and one finger, one stick coming up this way. Now I'm gonna, because we're gonna erase it, I'm not gonna do it in Sharpie because I don't wanna see these lines, but I do wanna tell you, show you what I'm talking about. Can you see? And, and for those people who have their shells close together, you're gonna just put your starfish up higher in between them, okay? So here's your P sign, one, two, Three, and they're not actually connected. Can you see it? Does that make sense, everyone? What? The? It's a upside down V, but that we're not touching right in the middle. It's like a peace sign. So that is three arms. That's the inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yep, you got you got it there, Iris. Good. You can make it a little longer. No, just a medium, a little bit longer. 
These are gonna be the inside middle of the arms. Let me put in arm number four and arm number five for you. Nice, Allie, good job. So there, and can you see? Notice and observe, lift your heads for a sec. Okay. Okay. That they are not touching each other, right? There's a space in the middle. We lost Sammy. Let me see if I can text your mom. Not sure what happened. Oh, let her back in. Yep. Let me see. Uh, yeah. Participants. <laughs> oh, did you need one more here? All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, <laughs> What the? He's back. Yeah. Hi, Sammy. We didn't know you were gone. You were so quiet. Oh, <laughs> this, is we, you. this is what we did. Yeah, mom. We're making we're making a starfish arms. So do these light because you're gonna erase them. They're just guides. It's a peace sign. The inside of the peace sign, upside down V, and one straight up, and then arms. Kind of slanted up to the side like they're cheering. Hooray! So we'll just give Sammy a, a, a minute to uh, get that together. And the arms are not touching on purpose, they're just guidelines. All right. Cool. Next, we're going to put the joint that connects the arms and they're going to be rounded V's. Let me show you what I mean. Here's my first two. I'm going to make a rounded V in between each one of these sticks. I'm going to do, and there's one, two, one, two, three, four, five. In between each stick. Okay, Allison, I'm. Uh, I'm sorry. It's a little out of focus, Allie, so I can't tell if you're right. You have a look. You have these in between your sticks. Little these. Uh, I think they're not far enough away. Did it cross? Is your mom still in the room? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't that funny? Your focus is kind of unusual. Yep, that's great. They're, they're, they're growing the wrong that, way. That works just fine, Lindsay. Thank you. Uh, let me see Annabella. Yep. Yep. Sammy, you got it? Yep. Oh, you're all doing great. Good. So now we're going to connect them, right? We're going to make the perimeter, the outside of the arm. And you're going to draw, you're going to draw, I'll do two so you know what I'm saying. You're just going to go around the straight lines and you're going to connect all those mini Bs. That makes sense to you, Karina? So you see how we had these little shapes? And then you're gonna, go, you're gonna go outside stick number one, connect. Outside stick number two, connect. Outside stick number three, until they're all connected. And your tips are slightly rounded. I don't, I don't get it. Okay, I'll show you in just a second. So we had little curved V's in between each leg. And you're just gonna you're gonna go yeah. outside above the one one stick down, above the next oh, stick look. down. Over here. Yep. Over here. Okay. This and one then here. The point, it's not pointed like a V, it is rounded, but it's not. Oh yeah, Ali, you got it. Here. Sammy, you doing okay? Yeah, look at that face. We have frowner today. Yeah. 
And Annabella, how about you? Ooh, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And Karina is focusing. Good. Yep. Nice. It looked like a star face. Let me see it. Okay, let's do this again. Okay, I'm going to tell you why. You ready? Ready for your good noticing and observing? Because I know you're really good at noticing and observing. Ready? What I noticed on yours is your arms are round like a petal. They need to be straight. And the tip, the tip of your starfish, look, Karina, look how skinny my tip is. My tip is a, a lot skinnier than yours was. So what you had drawn looks a little bit more like a flower petal than a starfish arm. Okay, so give it a try. You see the difference? So long, straight arms and skinnier bend. Good, Allison. Yep. Now, Allison, if you want, you ready to, you ready to be more like a sophisticated artist? Oh yeah, I, I see a big smile, yes there. Notice and observe how my starfish is behind the shell. So can you see? Like the uh, angels. Can you see how you can't see the tip? You can't see the tip because it's hiding behind. It's hiding behind the scallop and it's hiding behind the moon. So go and make your arms even longer so it's tucked behind the shell. Nice. Yep, I see Iris making that adjustment. Good. And then if you're, if you're waiting for, to, get, to get to the next step, go ahead and lightly, we, only, we don't want to see these lines that much anymore. So go ahead and erase these lines because I'm going to tell you what's going to go. We still want to kind of see them because we're going to put little bubbles on top. But we don't want to see them all the way. And probably if you erase it, you'll still be able to see those pencil lines, just knowing how people have a tendency to press the paper kind of hard. So I just erased my pencil, even though I can still see it. Yep. Yep. And remember in the, in the photographs, they were like little bubbles that, were, that went right on top of each other? Let me show you. This is what starts to make it look a little bit more realistic. Realistic. Yeah, we're going for making them look real. You're going to put little tiny bubble lines right where the, the sticks were. So erase your stick and over it, put whatever you got, six, seven circles, depending upon how much space. But they're really small. And those are the bumps. Those are our bump pattern on the starfish. Like this? Oh, yeah. Don't you think it looks more like a starfish now? Yeah. I have one more suggestion for you if you're ready. Mm -hmm. See if you can, Karina. Make your tips even a little bit skinnier. Even more. That's just, that's just making it look a little bit more realistic. Just a little bit. Good. Allison, oh, Allison's really concentrating. Look at her, her head's down. She is focused. She usually finishes at four. Yep, we had a half hour left. Half hour. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So those are the three we're going to draw. But they kind of look like they're floating. So they have to be put on some kind of soft surface like the sand, like you'd find them at the ocean or the bottom of the ocean floor. So you don't want just a straight line. Let's see, you want like a little bump, like this, like this shell is rusted, snuggled inside the sand itself. So you want to somehow give it a line. We want to give it some kind of horizon line is what we're doing, but it's gradual. Iris, lift yours up just a little bit, please. 
Uh, do you have a horizon line in there? I can't see it yet. Okay, great. I'm just showing my um, starfish. Oh, great. Thank you. And here's, here's like a little mound of sand. See how this is? A little mound of sand here, and then it's tucked behind. This makes it look a little bit more realistic. So those are our basic shapes. That's what we're going to do with the, with the regular pencil. And now it's time for some coloring action. We're going to start with the scallop. You get to decide what color you want to make your scallop. Who's tapping? Thank you. You get to decide because scallops can come in all different colors. I decided I'd make mine pink and brown, maybe some beige. But you know, if you want your seashell to be turquoise, that's fine. I'm doing but mine. Wait. What, what colors are you going to choose, Karina? Kind of like a blackish gray and a pale. And it, oh, I love that pale color. Is that like a skin color? I know. So make sure you keep that in mind. So you, oh, who is that? That, uh, that's Sammy? You got, you got a dark pink and a light pink? Nice. I, I like that idea. I'm going to go look for that too. It's actually peach yellow and then um, dark pink. Ooh. Ooh, sounds like a good call. Let me get mine out. I have actually like this. I have so many color pencils. I have like a dusty rose. It's like a dark, dusty color rose. And I got my brown. Okay. No color yet. No color yet. Because I'm going to tell you some tips about coloring. Time for noticing and observing again. Let's look up here. Allison's ready, thank you. If you notice and observe, there are some places that are darker than others. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line that's gonna connect, that's gonna divide, remember I called this a growth ring? A line that's gonna divide whatever color you're gonna use if you're gonna use brown and the other color you're gonna use. And that is a sharp, high pressure, meaning you're pushing hard, scallop, and it's gonna mirror the same shape as the top. So those mini smiley faces, one bump, two bumps, three bumps, and you're gonna keep going just like you did on the top in whatever color you're gonna use. So let me show you, I'm gonna do it in my dark brown. Dark brown somewhere about two thirds of the way up, but you can decide where you want your growth ring to be because they're in different places. I like that. Y'all lift your head up. Let me see some eyes. Got that? Uh, Sammy, yeah. Um, what happens if you accidentally already colored them? You're gonna still do these steps. And you're going to be patient because we're going to do it at every step of the way. Okay. Okay. Well, I, you're, I think yours could be a little bit more exaggerated. Yours looks like one band. We're trying to make it look three dimensional. So give, give it a little bit more curve on the ones you have. You got it. And then keep going. Put a couple more in. And you can decide. Maybe some are brown. Some are pink, if we're going to go with all the pinks. Miss Linda? Yes, Allison. Um, can we start coloring? Don't color yet, because I want to show you something else. Let me show you this. So sometimes the bands are thick. So look at mine. Look at my pink. I am, I am doing back, mini back and forth. Up and down, 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 up and down. And keep on going, arcing. Not, it's not a straight line. We're now starting to just add some, think of it like a rubber band going around. 
but you're still getting those little arc shapes in there. There's mine. It almost in some ways looks like fur, but we know there's no fur on shells. And we're purposely doing in those little mini arcs because we're telling the viewer that each one of those are a rounded shape. So I'm gonna put one pink band on the top and another on the bottom. You are the artist. You can decide how you wanna do yours. There's mine. Then again, we're starting to look for little subtle differences. That's what helps make it look real. Everybody lift their heads up for a minute. Thank you, Iris. After you have those basic shapes in there, you're gonna start coloring and notice every time, you ready, Karina? Every time you're looking at this line here, there's a shadow. So pick the side, you're gonna put the shadow and you're gonna color in darker brown all the way from the edge of the scallop down to the center V. You're gonna shade because we're creating a shadow on one side of the ridge all the way down in brown. I'm gonna show you. So you decide which, which edge of the, uh, we're gonna call that the fan line. Let's call it a fan line. And I'll show you what I mean. Can you see how I'm, I'm putting a little shadow in? Lift your head for just a second. You, it starts up here in the ridge and then it's just gonna go all the way on one side of that line. <laughs> Bless you, is that a sneeze? Bless you. Thank you. Uh -huh. How's everybody feeling about that? Pretty good? Lots of quiet. I got, I'm gonna take that as concentration. All right, so there's my shadow line. And that, and, and that shadow line Yep, that shadow line has a kind of a hard pressure on it because we want to see it. We want that to be darker than the rest of the shell. The rest uh, of the shell is going to be lighter. Karina, are you going to say something? Yes. Um, so after I do my pale and my pink, um, do I go like to the brown and the pink? Uh, I'm not quite sure what you're asking. Show me, show me on your artwork. Like, am I just copying the same pattern? Ah, oh, good question. Okay, I see what you mean. Well, did, did you put the shadow in? Yes. Okay. So next, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, since I had brown in my hand, I'm going to do brown all along here. But the brown is much lighter, super light, so, so that you can still see where the shadow line is. It doesn't show up too well on the camera, but it's very, very light. So go ahead and do the brown band, and then I'm going to give you a another tip for how it's gonna make it look three-dimensional and uh, shiny. I'm gonna give you a tip for shininess. One, um, I Sammy, do you okay? What was that? Definitely. You okay? She's amazed. Beautiful lemon. Ooh, lemon yellow. Right, right now this is called Tira. Cota. Terracotta, yeah. That's what the color of pottery is. Mm -hmm. 
And after you color in, if you can't see your shadow anymore, that means you gotta go back over your shadow. I'm noticing my shadow is not dark enough. So I'm going back over my shadow and putting it back in so it shows up. Yes, Karina. My thing's at 5%. Excuse me? So my thing's at 5%, so um, if you it don't have, You don't have a power charger? Um, you can't plug it in? If I plug it in and it's still on, it says not charging. But if it dies, this one, I have another one upstairs that has your link to this. Okay. We had this problem before. I hope you can come back in. Ooh, whose is that? Allison, yours is looking pretty. All right. So the next tip. Oh, yeah. Iris, looking great. Here's my tip for shininess. You guys ready? The tip for shininess. Well, I'll show you on the one I already did. Okay, everybody's eyes up. This takes detective work. You're going to take your regular pencil eraser and right in the middle, you're going to pull up some of the color. You're actually going to erase some of the color. You still want some of it, but you're going to erase it right in the middle, right in between each of those bands. You're going to erase. And that's going to help it look like it's shiny. The only place it shines is at the very uh, top of the little hill. Like this? It doesn't, doesn't show up that great on the, on the monitor, but I hope you understand what I mean. By erasing the just in the middle, it starts to look less flat and more rounded. Can you tell? I don't know if you can tell. It's hard on the monitor. Yeah, Iris is saying yes. Ooh, Allison, I love your color choices. Yeah. So, Ali, you probably can press a little bit harder on top of your lines. We're going for like a really gradual. It goes from dark to medium to way light. Yep, Annabella. Yep. Looking good. And now I'm gonna, and you do the same thing. So if, if you haven't done your pink yet, go and put your light pink in. You can color all the way across, super light. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna erase in the middle. Yep, looking good. So I got my light pink in, and now I'm gonna do the same thing I do with my brown. I'm gonna take my eraser, and right in the middle, in between those two long lines, I'm gonna pick some of my color up. Right in the middle, yep. How are you feeling about yours, Annabella? Pretty good? Good. Is it Thursday today? It is Thursday already. No, you didn't have any school today, did you? Nope. Yeah, I had a day off. This is my dog, this good. Ooh, I, oh, Sammy. I love your color choices, too. Thank you. Wow, this looks super realistic. Okay, here comes Karina's second computer coming in. Miss Linda, I changed my paper to the smaller one. <laughs> you're so you're so speedy. How did you do that? <laughs> well done. You got you snuck that one in. I didn't even know it. <laughs> Hi, Karina, with your second camera. Hi. Yeah. Oh, she's smiling. She's a happy girl. This is my other one. Oh, look at that! Now you have two. Yeah. You can you can, you can master them. Way to go, Iris. How are you doing? What are we working on? Ooh. Yeah, keep it going. Keep it going. So we're doing this. We're doing the same thing. You just, I just fill it in my pink, and then I took that eraser and I'm, I'm erasing in between each of the lines. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Allison, looking good. Looking good. Can I go like um, pink, pale, brown, pink, pale, brown? Sure, sure. This is yours. You can create it however you like. 
Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and outline the outside of the scallop in brown. So cover those pencil lines. So uh, are you have already like done color that. in the white spot down here? Yes. I'm going to color it all in. And, and what I was just talking about is go ahead and make sure all the pencil lines have been gone over and whatever, whatever you're using, oh, okay. the brown or whatever you're using. And yes, go ahead and co color in those little triangles as well. <coughs> I decided my little triangles are going to be brown and uh, the bottom of the V are yeah. going to be pink, but you can do whatever you like. I've done the shine thing before in another art class. Oh, cool. That's a good tip, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Really well. Oh, Sammy has multiple colors in her little girl. Nicely done. Wow. I'm a, I would like to see your seashell in real life, Sammy. That looks really pretty. Thank you. And you need a little shine mark on the bottom of the V. So on the opposite edge from the shadow, I'll show you in a second what I'm doing. And you see, I took the eraser. So wherever, opposite side from where the shadow is, you're gonna erase kind of like in the number seven. Up a little bit here and a little hey, bit And then I'm gonna press really hard right here again we're trying to we're trying to give the illusion we're pretending this is a 3d item like this hold on a sec this is Let me um, say, oh yeah that looks great karina good job thank you yes, this is me. my shell in real life oh no wonder you had good inspiration that's beautiful I think you should take a photograph of your drawing next to the real one, side by side. Show and tell it. That looks Can awesome. I start coloring my other shells? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I'm looking at the time. We only have 10 minutes. Let me give you the tips. Well, let's do the moon shell first, because there's just some basic tips. We want that to look round as well. Uh, I used black and blue and purple. You can use whatever you like. You remember there was that rainbow colored one. That was pretty awesome. But in order to make it look 3D, because that's our goal, is make it look real. I'm putting in some shine and yes, shadow yes. marks in here. I'm down with my second shell. Hold on a sec. You're beating me. You're too fast. <laughs> she's so fast. Like when she's um doing the art when when I was at, at her house one time, she was just like done, like in yeah, about I have one noticed minute. that about Sammy. She is a uh, speedy artist. Noticed. Here we go. So we're putting in. Everybody, take a look. Ow. Eyes up for a minute, Allison. Dead. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, Mrs. In. Kenny these little like curvy uh, points nice. yes i have a real dead starfish oh that's gonna be great inspiration nice my um friend her name's kiki um her that? grandpa was in the war and um i think it's like about i forgot how many years it is but um it's actually a dead starfish mm -hmm. from the real ocean and it's on this stand. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I can because it was a living animal, right? Mm -hmm. We also have some shine going on in that edge. You got a little bit of shadow over here and shadow here, but this is going to be very, very light because the sun's hitting it right there. You can in this part, but this stays light. This is Kenny. Yes. Um, I also have this. Hang on. This Ooh, shell. man, you are so prepared. Oh, look at all the shells you have. You could be I'm an expert. I'm going to go get a shell. I love shells. As I said, I could do a lesson on Full this. Whole collection. I could do lessons on seashells forever. I think they're beautiful. I have from Morgan, like, the beach. Whoa. Like, the shells, the starfish, mm. and the water. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what? You know the pokey one? Yeah. 
Yeah. You have that one too? Ooh, one. nice. That we could would take all class to draw. That one's very detailed. And yeah, like we wouldn't even get that, to talk. That would take like four hours. Yeah, it would take a long time. That has so much detail in it. Can I see your drawing again? Because I want to see. Um, sure. I forgot. Sure. I'm just this gonna. Is my to last but not least. Remember, in that one we looked at, had a shadow. So that's why. <clears throat> Here we go. See how it where the spiral is. You want it to be darker. I'm using my silver thing. Oh, that'll be pretty because that'll definitely give it the illusion that it's shiny. Oh, Sammy has a little owl who's joining us. I tell myself a furry a furry owl. Are those real? That's not real feathers, is it? No. Wow, that's pretty. I don't think so. It's all fur. I would say candy corns are gross. <laughs> yeah, Iris. I, I can, love candy corn. I agree with Iris. I'm not a big candy corn fan. Candy like, corn? I'm not big on them, but I love them. Wow, you are awesome. It's like straight sugar. And they're waxy. They have like a <gasps> weird oh consistency. This is, this is polished. <laughs> Okay, in one minute, I'm going to show you, because, because we're almost done with the lesson, in one minute, I'm going to show you some tips about the starfish so you can finish it on your own. Here we go, look how cool this is. This is the one we are looking at. Ooh, I love that moon. That's a beautiful moon shell. Do you like this? Ooh, yeah, Karina, here you go. Okay. Can I um, make my um, thing brown? Sure. Miss Linda? Yes, Allison. Can I show you um, my picture? I'd love to see it. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Wow, do you like it? Yeah. I'm loving it. Way to go. Awesome. All right, I'm going to give you some tips on that starfish. You might remember that Iris had some excellent, excellent observations about where the red, red goes. So let me show you that. I'm going to put in my red. Mrs. Linda? Yes. You know, I, I forgot what those are called. Those are, those would not be too hard to draw. I bet you could do, ooh, look at the underside. Oh, look at Karina's bringing her whole wishing bowl full of them. I love seashells. So beautiful. Okie doke, eyes up for a sec. And I wanna show you about the starfish coloring. Who's looking? Who's looking at me? Karina, Annabella is, Sammy, we've, we've got Allison and Iris still with me. Okay, can you see where I colored in the red? Oops, we lost Allison's camera. Can you see, because that's where the shadow is. Who's looking? Nobody's looking at me. There we go. Oh, Allison's back. Sammy, you notice? Um, and, ah, here we go. So we are going and we're putting in the corners. We're putting in the red. The yellow goes smack in the middle because that's the highest point where the sun would be. And the rest is orange. It's important on this guy, you're gonna have to go over in your either orange or red pencil, each one of those little mini circles because they're gonna disappear when you go to color them in. So you want to make sure to go ahead and uh, highlight all the circles. I'm going to do that right now. And you might remember in the illustration when we looked at the slides that the inside of the circles were actually white. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Miss Linda? Yes. 
Can I show you a turtle that I got from, that my, that dog got me from Hawaii when she went to Hawaii? Sure, I'd love to see a turtle. Oh my god, oh he's in the shell, like he's hatching. I got a dinosaur. Oh, dinosaur coming out of an egg? That is precious. Thank you for sharing that. I keep her right. I keep her right where every single time I do art, she's always right. Oh, no, he's watching. Did did you name is it? it real? No, not yet. Not yet. Love it. Uh, what's this? <laughs> no, the, I don't. Oh, that's another one I love. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of sugar pops. I can't tell what those is. But I don't know the name of that. I when I was a little girl, I lived on on an island called the Philippines, and they had those. Sugar but look at the detail on everywhere. this shows from the Philippines too. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Wow. All okay, I want to show I you. I'm gonna have to go soon, but I want to show you some other tips. Let me just get it in. Okay, eyes up here, everybody. Eyes, eyes, eyes. Eyes. I'm missing a lot of eyes. Where are they? Karina was the first one I saw. Let me show you the finished example. Notice and observe. Are you ready, Sammy? Sammy? Sammy, you ready? Notice that there are bumps on the outside of the starfish. This will really help the viewer know it's a starfish and not a flower. And they're just little tiny semicircles. Can you see I, I do them in? I'm just gonna put bumps on one side. And that also is gonna help make it look like it's more three dimensional. Ooh, some serious stroking going on there. Not the business. You mind your business. Oh, look at that, Iris. That oh, that is so cool. How beautiful is that? It's a nicely done. Yeah. Iris, yes, yeah. your hand's raised. I don't know what they eat out of. Did you know that? No. Yes, Iris? Um, no, I, I, I just I really wanted to show you something before we um, go. Sure. Um, I did this earlier in class today for being just doing good. Um, love you, Mom. This is why you can't trust candy corns. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Wait, that is we... creepy. Oh man, that is a candy corn that is possessed. Did you make this penny? We all our class made that. Uh, everybody in your class? That's awesome. I love it. Thanks for sharing this, that. This Kenny. Yes. Um, how how many minutes until we have to leave? Cause I have to leave in a few minutes. Guess what? One more it's minute. Exactly time. Football. Exactly time that we need to leave. Oh, Karina, that's looking awesome. Keep up the good work. So go ahead. When you, when you, when you do your starfish, you want to do pencil around the whole thing. We just wanted to have red in the corners. But go ahead and do a hard line in your color. Okay, Karina? Is that clear? I noticed, I noticed on yours that you still needed to do pencil around that. But we do need to get going. It's four o'clock already. I don't know where time goes. Insane. Okay, so I need, I need, so I need eyes up, hands up, everybody. Eyes up, hands up. Eyes up, hands up. Eyes up, hands up. Let me see your hands. Hands, hands, hands. So waiting for Sammy. I think okay, so leave. we're taking a vote. How much do you love seashells? Do you want to learn how to do these seashells next week? Or would you rather move on to something else? Something else. Okay, we're voting. Something else. We're voting. Those who want these seashell, seashells, raise your hand. One, two. Sammy, is that a yes for you? Three. Iris, two. Yep, Iris. Oh, look at that, all the Morello Park kids. Oh no, because Allison's Marilla Park and she didn't vote for that. 
All right, and then if you don't want to do seashells, raise your hand. Two. Hmm, it's three Wait, to Sam two. Wait, Sam is still raising her hand. She was raising her hand. Three to two. Okay, so we are going to do these seashells next week. But don't worry, we got other awesome projects we are still doing. We got a pelican. We've got an octopus coming down the pike. So we got some really super duper projects still coming. We are going to talk about other seashells next week then. Alrighty? Okay, everybody have a great week. Karina, I know you're starting in in person school on Monday, right? Yep. Good luck with that. That should be Thank awesome. You. And um, I think I think 2.30 will still work because you get out at two o'clock. So we're going to still keep with that 2.30 time frame. All righty. All right, everybody have a great week. Bye. Bye. Holly. Love your dance. And uh, see you next Thursday. Thanks for sharing Bye. that creepy, <laughs> creepy <laughs> dance <laughs> for an iris. Yeah. I have nine right. years of that. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Annabella did this too. We're in the same class. Bye. Linda. Bye, Bye, Bye. Bye, Allie. Um, Mrs. Linda. Yeah. My cat can sing the cat anthem. <laughs> the cat anthem? I don't know that one. Oh, she can dance too. That is one big kitty. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Sammy. Bye-bye.